So if you spent a thousand days working on something, you would hope that it would have a good return. For those of you that speak Spanish, you'll know that mil dias means a thousand days. What's going on, everybody? I'm Cigar Show Tim, and you're watching Tobacco Talk, where every week I review a cigar, give you my perspective on it, and hopefully educate you in your cigar journey as well. If this kind of stuff interests you, make sure you click subscribe, ring that bell so you know every time I post new content. But let's get to this week's cigar. As I mentioned a second ago, it's the Mil Dias by Crown Heads. I've got the um, factory sample edition to try out. Basically just means it doesn't have the uh, production band on it, but it's essentially the same cigar. So I'm gonna jump into this and I'm gonna let you know how do a thousand days stack up with tobacco. Let's light it up. All right, so let's get into this. This cigar, the makeup of it, is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. It has a Nicaraguan binder, and it has Costa Rican, uh, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian fillers in it. So I'm really curious about the flavors in this with the Costa Rican and Peruvian tobaccos in it. Ian, 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 I feel like I'm saying Ian a lot. But anyways, so when you smell the body, get just sort of a like a sweeter tobacco flavor or aroma. Let's cut it and light it and see how she tastes. I lose my cutter every single week, it seems. Cold draw notes. Very creamy graham cracker. With some light breadiness. Let's toast her up. So off of first light, very strong breadiness, but yet there's a nice creaminess to it also. A little bit of spice that you'll get from the Habano wrapper. But yeah, just bready, a little bit of spicy, not quite to the level of spicery, but there's some spice to it. All right, I'm going to... Or retake. I'm going to jump into the first third. I'll be back with you all in just a second and give you my thoughts on the Mildius by Crown Heads. Be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I am at the end of the first third in the Crown Head Mildius. And the flavors are interesting, let me tell you. It started off with that sort of, um, you know, creaminess, a little bit of spice, not quite to the spicery level. But let me tell you. At the end of the first third, the spicery is definitely there, but it's not overpowering. And there's almost like a, a chili powder mixed with cumin, almost like you're having a bowl of like good spicy chili with this. It's just a good like good like girthy full flavor to it. I wouldn't say it's full body though. I wouldn't say that it's a full strength full body and it's going to knock you back, at least not at this point yet, but it is very good. The smoke has not been too bad off of it, the smoke output. The burn, as you can see, is a little bit wavy. It's not 100% perfect. I haven't had to relight it. I haven't had to touch it up. It started to uh, get a little bit of a run for me, and I actually just let it go and thought, eh, let's see what happens, and it corrected itself, which is great. Uh, and I think a lot of times cigar smokers and reviewers will correct a cigar and not give it a chance to correct itself. This one corrected itself, so kudos to uh, Crown Heads for for uh, putting together a quality cigar. Obviously, the entire Crown Heads line 
is great and it's top quality. So a little bit of background on the naming of Mildeus of a thousand days. So if you look at a year, 365 days, you figure a thousand days is about three years. So the three people that came together, uh, Luciano Morales, uh, John Huber, and um, Pachardo, I went blank on his first name, I'll mention it in the, the next segment. All three of them came together and said, hey, let's let's make something and it's gonna take time and it's gonna take effort. And Mil Diaz is what was born out of it. And it so far is a really good cigar. Uh, it is not overpowering. It's not a you know mild cigar smokers palette or wheelhouse in my opinion again everything is from my opinion and that's just how it is here on tobacco talk and if you're enjoying it go ahead and give me a thumbs up real quick on this video let me know that you're enjoying my take on the cigar but those are my thoughts on the first third i'm going to jump into the second third see if it ramps up a little bit more see if the strength of the cigar picks up but it's it's a good full flavor sort of uh bowl of chili kind of spicy tangy kind of flavor with it and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to jump into the second third and I will be back with all of you in just a second. Welcome back everybody. The end of the second third in the crown heads mil dias or a thousand days as I mentioned before. So second third the flavors have transitioned a little bit getting a little more of a like a, a roasted or a toasted nut, um, which is really good, but it was an interesting transition from everything I was tasting before. The spicery is still there a little bit. It's not crazy, it's not overpowering, but just a really good roasted or toasted nut flavor is what I'm picking up now. And there's it's getting into some savory notes. There's a little bit of almost like a, a brown sugar molasses flavor coming in as well. And so I'm curious to see how this finishes off and how it pans out and I am going to pull up just so I can give all of you the information that I mentioned I did not get the uh, name of the first name of the third person uh, from Tabacalera Pichardo uh, and it is Eradio Pichardo so the three people that came together John Huber obviously crowned heads you've got Luciano Morales with Ace Prime Cigars and then you've got Eradio or Eradio uh, Pichardo who um, Obviously, uh, with Luciano Morales, they co-own Tabacalera Pichardo. And so that's who the three people that came together and said, you know, what? we're going to make something good. We're going to make something that is enjoyable, that is going to take some time. And at the end, we're going to have a really good product. And that's what the Mil Diaz is. A thousand days, three years to put it together, three years to take the care and the um, attention to detail that goes into really well-crafted boutique cigars. So those are the flavors I'm getting in the second third. I'm going to jump into the final third and I will come back to you all and let you know my final thoughts on the cigar. As you know, here at Tobacco Talk, it's either nub worthy or it's not. But that's uh, the phrase that I use here. That's the rating that I use here on Tobacco Talk for myself, for what I do. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to jump to the final third and I'll let you know what I think and give you my rating. See you in a second. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's wrap up the review on the Crowned Heads Mel Diaz. Final third thoughts. Nuttiness ramped up quite a bit, but there was also like a, a sweet earthiness that was in there. Uh, not like grassiness or hay, but just like a sweet earthiness. The nutty, nuttiness was there. Not much of any woodiness or char or anything like that, but I will tell you the uh, spicery has come back for me. And it has also left sort of like a, a tingling on my lips a little bit. The nicotine did ramp up. I would say this is definitely finishing as a full body cigar. It is not one for me that has knocked me back and kicked me in the teeth and like, oh, I'm getting nicotine sick and buzzed and all the crazy stuff that can happen when you have a cigar that's just a little bit too strong for you. But it has been very good. The smoke output's been great. I have had to relight it one time. Not too bad. That's just how it goes. And the smoke output has been great the entire time. I didn't mention that, but the smoke output has been great the entire time. And so my thoughts on this are, well, nubworthy or not, I'm going to say it's nubworthy. It is one that is a little bit stronger than I tend to gravitate towards, but from crown heads, from what I've heard in different people that have uh, talked about it and things of that nature, it is a stronger cigar or one of the strongest, if not strongest cigar from crown heads to date. But it is good. I enjoy it. If you enjoy a good full-bodied, full-flavored cigar, 
with all the transitions, with all the different flavor notes that I've mentioned, then I would check out this Mil Diaz by Crown Heads. I've enjoyed it. It's been good. Those are my thoughts. And I want to give a shout out to Miguel Chanel with Crown Heads for shooting this out my way. Thank you so much for the cigar as well as the Mil Diaz hat. Greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for that. If you've enjoyed this review, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Ring that bell so you know whenever I post new content to my channel here. And that's going to do it for this review. So enjoy your cigar journey. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.